everyone. Welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly general reading for Capricorn. How are you guys this week, Capricorn? Hope you're well. I did put singles readings up on Monday. You can check those out on my playlist for single people looking for love. This is a general read, any aspect of your life, Capricorn. The energy surrounding Capricorn, what do they need to know? Oh, you've got King of Cups energy. This one wants to come out. Oh, you've got someone offering up a cup. Now, this could be an invitation or someone just sharing their feelings and emotions, how they feel about something. But it is the start of something. So, yeah, you've got someone offering up a cup here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Wow. All right. Someone in their feelings here. Someone emotionally mature, not afraid of putting themselves out there. <laughs> Nice energy. Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know about this overall energy? Capricorn. Okay, so we have the Hierophant, a little Taurus energy. This is how someone's conducting themselves, their belief, tradition. So I feel like you have somebody here who's, you know, it, it's somebody with some morals and values here. I, I like this. This is somebody who's mature. They want to offer you something. It could be just an invitation or a communication. Yeah, but it's how they conduct themselves. So someone who's been kind of holding back. So you can see the holding back, you see. Now, this is about two people often getting on the same page. You know, morals and values, the way you conduct yourself, the way you live your life. Someone's holding back. Now, this is also sometimes a side message, message here. If you, you know, someone's saving their money, holding back. But it's often energy of put that back if you don't need it. <laughs> so that's kind of interesting. And I see my camera's playing autofocus again. There, fix it. It does that every time I start it up. There we go. Right, we have, ooh, the magician, yeah. Someone's trying to manifest something, but they're holding back. Someone's feeling stuck. Now, a little stubborn energy. Someone is not budging, not giving in. Okay, yeah, this person, is, someone is in their feelings, but they're not giving in. Now, this could even be yourself. And they're not giving in to someone, and it could be the way they conduct themselves. I see the magician here. Now, the magician is someone who generally has everything they need. Okay, so someone is generally determined, creative. They have all the tools, the information that they need, but yet they hold back. So, yeah. See, it has to do with who's initiating. <laughs> there we have the initiate a cup. Somebody wants you to initiate. They're holding back, not budging. So nobody's moving here. No one's budging. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, we have the chariot. It has to do with someone trying to control their emotions, not being ruled. But you can see it's someone who wants success. So I feel what's happening is you, you know, maybe you've initiated something and now you want this person to, you know, uh, reciprocate here but it really looks like um somebody i see some cancer energy definitely the magician is virgo taurus or pardon me uh, gemini energy so i i feel it's somebody who's manipulating a bit refusing to budge to share their feelings uh, because they want the other person to initiate the initiative chalices you see someone wants you to initiate they're not Okay, and you're not going to. No one's budging here. So it's a little bit of a power struggle here. <laughs> it's a person who's determined to have success by not initiating. Um, getting It's an energy of, you know, using that power to get this other person to um, reach out here. There we have another initiate. A little Aries, Leo, Sag, possibly Scorpio energy. Yeah, this is someone here who, this is interesting because this is someone who's trying to control something. It looks like this person wants the other person to initiate, which would maybe be yourself or vice versa. Um, but I feel here, this is someone who, they know, this is someone who's not afraid to initiate. It's an energy of power struggle, a little bit of control. They're, this person's determined here, very determined here. Yeah, to get you to. I feel they want you to initiate something, but you're not going to. See, two people holding back, two people not budging, not giving in. This is someone who could be kind of just a little on the distant side. Yeah, and it has to do with starting something. So, you know, a little power struggle. Let's see. Yeah, 
Tell me about the high. It's the way someone conducts themselves, being a little stubborn here. Like maybe you started something or you wanted them to, whatever it is that happened. Uh, I feel this person here is being stubborn. It's how they conduct themselves. They're not budging. So this is why I feel like it, it's, it's you who's not going to give in to this. You see, you're the one with the power here. So it's about taking control. See, this person is trying to control something. A little bit of controlling nature so you're not giving in. So, oh my goodness, the Hierophant. Whoops. Yeah, someone's not getting something they want. I'm going to take it, see, because there's the power struggle. Someone wants to have success. They're determined to, uh, so that they. this is how they're going to conduct themselves, you see. This could be just a habit someone has. Um, but there, you know, someone's not getting something they want. They're not offering much. So you're offering one little cup. You may have been, you started something and said something to this person, hoping it would be successful, but they're not giving in. And I do feel there's something here to do with truth, a little aha moment. So, and now I got to be funny. I'm seeing a little, feeling a little energy of a sense of humor, especially with this initiated wands here, <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I someone's you know a little manipulation here um, but you know it's an energy of two people trying to manifest each other but nobody's budging or moving here you know the chariot is about control it's about power it's also someone trying to control their emotions so someone here is trying to not be um, ruled by their feelings but yet they are you see very strong cancer you both may have some cancer in your chart but there's that aha moment that truth you see someone seeing the truth <laughs> There we go. There's a need to initiate a conversation, but it's like, who's going to do it? The power struggle between two people. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, oh, see, it's about this opportunity. It's about offering up the cup. You know, it takes two. There we have someone here. It's about two people getting to know each other. But I feel it's like this distant communication. Now, this could be someone at a distance. It's possible. But it's an energy of... Uh, two people taking the time to get to know each other so it's an energy of someone who's um, trying to manifest here trying to get to know someone but somebody's not either sharing their feelings or it i feel it has to do with just initiating it i feel like something's already happened where someone's offered one cup nothing more they're keeping all their feelings to themselves they're not giving in they want the other person both people want the other person to share their feelings <laughs> Yeah, well, there's a reason for it. We'll see. Tell me about this King of Cups for Capricorn. Who is this? King of Cups energy. There we go. Yeah, someone here needs to let their guard down. See, it has to do with cooperation and compromise. Someone doesn't want to compromise, so they're guarded, defensive. Uh, I feel it's an energy of being careful what you believe here, too. So someone's not believing something, yeah. So we have an energy of the Three of Cups. So now this is an invitation, and now this is also an energy of three. Someone may be feeling there's another person involved here because of the way someone's conducting themselves. They're holding back, but, you know, there's there's feelings there's emotions here uh, definitely i feel on both parts but you see this initiated chalices is an energy of someone who offers one little cup nothing more because they're not so sure what they believe you see guarded and defensive someone keeping somebody at arm's length here uh, when someone does that, this is where I feel this uh, initiated chalices is someone's already initiated okay um very carefully, very cautiously playing it safe. We got two people playing it so safe that things are stuck. And it has to do with a need to cooperate and compromise going down this path. It's about two people building each other up, not tearing each other down energy, you see. Uh, it, it takes compromise. Someone doesn't want to compromise. They want the other person to initiate. And I don't know why, uh, but I can feel that this um, initiated chalice is feeling, you know, that someone keeping at arm's length. And it could be yourself, could be them. Um, not so sure what to believe if someone's maybe dating or, you know, seeing other people. There's definitely the energy of three here. And then we have this initiate of wands. This is someone who's not afraid to initiate, not afraid of wearing their heart on their sleeve. So there's something going on here. Yeah, no, it's that same person. It just came out. It's the same person. Wow. Now, I do see an invitation, but it needs 
cooperation and compromise. There's a need to compromise a little here. It's two, both, I feel it's both people. Both of you need to put your let your guard down a bit. You see, not afraid to initiate, but you know, we've got a power struggle and it, it, this is a, I'm not kidding. This is a tough one. A couple people being stubborn. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's an energy of someone being guarded, defensive, afraid to let their guard down. They may feel there's other people involved, but there is an invitation. There's an energy of waiting for someone to uh, invite Okay, um, to a party, a gathering, a get together, maybe to introduce to friends and family. Someone's refusing to um, move forward. Now, it could be someone who needs to take a little bit more time uh, to get to know someone before they do. So they're a little guarded, maybe keeping you at arm's length. But yeah, you know, I got to tell you, see, letting go of things that no longer serve. So this is a star, someone who knows their worth and value. So, you know, the star is an energy where the situation seems a little out of reach. It's about somebody else reaching out. Someone's already started this and now they're not moving any further. They're not budging because they're waiting for the other person to share their feelings. Maybe pour their heart out here. <laughs> We have the chariot. Yeah, we've got a couple of people here. Major power struggle. The chariot. Why is this here? Yeah, see, we have someone who's acting a little detached. So this is an energy of someone who's a little detached. They're looking at the details. They want something to be successful, but yet they're not uh, behaving, I feel, in a way that they're going to get what they want. See, someone's a little careful playing it safe. They're not sure they're going to get what they want if they reach out. But they're looking at this energy of the star where they may feel someone's out of their league. Maybe they feel that you're out of their league, you know, but you you know that this is the this is emotional energy. This is someone who knows their worth, knows their value. You know, they're initiating this offering one little cup. And I feel it could even be you. But I mean, it could be them. Don't look at the you know, the genders on the cards here. But boy, do we have a struggle. I don't think I've seen a, a, a spread like this with this much of a power struggle, with this much emotion. Prince of, we have some Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. Definitely there's some strong Taurus and Cancer, a little bit of uh, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Tell me about the Prince of Pentacles. Why is this person, they want success, but it's they're careful what they say. They're being cautious, you see. This is someone who kind of keeps their feelings to themselves. So there's a lack of emotion, a lack of, you know, sensitivity here. They want it to be successful. They need to reach out. Yeah. Prince of Pentacles. Oops, there we go. Yeah, see, there's some trust issues. There's some trust issues. It could be somebody playing little mind games or manipulating the situation. But I feel it's likely a little bit of trust at whether they're going to actually get what they want. Someone has a little fear of rejection, uh, more than likely. Uh, I feel overall. Um, it's an energy of someone taking what they know to be true, taking what resonates, leaving the things that no longer work behind. See, someone needs to let go of that. I feel like it's trust issues. Guarded, defensive, keeping someone at a distance. They may feel like there's other people involved. Someone could be trying to avoid gossip. There could be a person I feel who's guarded. They they don't want to introduce to friends and family yet. They need to get to know you a little more. Or it's yourself. Yeah. Tell me about this King of Cups. What does this person want? What do they want? They want you to communicate. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, some earth and water here. Whew. Yeah. So, what? Yeah, they want you to communicate. You know, I feel like you're looking at the details. You're looking at the situation. And you're not giving in. See, it's an energy of being detached. Two people acting aloof like they're not interested, but they are, you see. But you both want it to be successful. You both want uh, to start something. Yeah, I don't know if this person's waiting for you to invite them to do something, or there's a, definitely a power struggle there. Uh, but I don't think you're trusting it so much. 
Yeah, see, this is someone who's not, maybe not telling you everything you need to know. This is someone who, you know, is holding back. There's a lack of communi clear communication. And I thought the Page of Pentacles is like that. The Page of Pentacles is someone who communicates in a way they don't really tell you what it is you want to know. They have a tendency to kind of keep some things to themselves, see, playing it safe. They don't want to put themselves out there. They, you know, you, you know, there's definitely some trust issues, and it's because of this lack of clarity. They're not telling you something, you know, you feel like, or you feel like they're not because they keeping you at, at arm's length and not introducing you to friends and family, not bringing you into their social circle. So, and it could be, like I say, they may feel that you're out of their league, you know, tell me about the star, you know, little insecurities here. So, you know, someone's having some regrets. See, they're looking at this. Somebody feels like there's no hope. So this is why they're this person. So I, I feel, I got to be honest, I feel this person feels like, um, you know, the situation's out of reach. You're out of their league or, um, you know, because they're keeping it to themselves. They're not sharing their feelings. They're not sharing with you what you need to know here. And they are looking at it. I do feel they're looking at that energy. And they have a little regret. So there's somebody here with a little negative energy. They need to release it. They know. They need to let go of this. It's energy of a little bit of lack for sure there. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. Boy, these cards. I can't even shuffle. Yeah. So it's about somebody putting in the effort. But it's about two people building each other up. So overall, it, it's just it's an energy of confidence and insecurity. Um, you know, it's a guarded and defensive, afraid to let their guard down, afraid of letting somebody in, afraid of being vulnerable, you know, and uh, I don't feel like it has to do, it, it's someone who definitely feels, you know, moving forward calmly and peacefully, taking lessons they learned from the past, uh, but it's also an energy of two people growing closer, uh, getting to know each other. Somebody is distant. They're, they're keeping you, you know, like I say, at arm's length, distant communication. You know, some, you know feeling, um, having a hard time believe someone's not in maybe invested in other people. Okay, if you've got someone who's at a distance here. But yeah, see, there may be competition. See, it's competition, conflict, obstacles. Now, there could be issues with distance, travel, uh, there could be, you know, it could be an obstacle. If someone feels there's obstacles or they're worried there's competition. If it's yourself and you're not initiating, it's like both people doing the same thing, uh, mirroring each other a little possibly too, feeling the same thing about each other. Uh, and it is about someone perfecting their craft, their skills, see, trying to manifest this. It's about putting in the effort, doing the work. This could be someone you work with, okay, or someone who travels for work. You only see this person once in a while, but they're not telling you something. This is someone who swears to tell the whole truth, nothing but the truth. And they may not be um, lying. They may just be not telling you the whole story. So, Or it's just that feeling. But there's a lack of clarity. Tell me about this Prince of Swords. Yeah, see, it's about taking a risk. This person's a little concerned about taking a risk. They have a little bit of regret here for not taking a leap of faith. See, it's about this person's looking at this energy. See, you're holding back. You're not offering too much. Why? Because you are being careful. You're being cautious, playing it safe. You're being careful what to believe because of issues you may have had in the past. So really, it's about leaving things in the past in the past. Dating other people, you may have had trust issues, there may have been some issues. Uh, it's about leaving it behind, okay? That's what I feel. But someone definitely has trust issues. They're afraid to take a leap of faith, they to, to take that risk. But they're looking at it here. So I feel this is somebody here who really does want this to work. See, little Aries energy here. Yeah, maybe some Scorpio energy. But this is a person who generally knows exactly what they want and they go for it. They come in and fight for what they want. So this is, I, I feel this, you're looking at this energy. You know, looking at this, the details. This person's not putting in the effort. You want someone who puts in the effort. You're not doing all the work. You're not going to be the one to initiate. You're not going to be the one to, you know, wear your heart on your sleeve or pour your heart out. Uh, until things are clear, until you know. Uh, there's definitely obstacles. And I mean, distance travel could be an issue here too, where someone's just kind of, you know, looking at this, 
should they take a leap of faith you know go down another path some of you may be thinking of you know leaving this energy behind here moving away from this uh, person who you're waiting to offer this you both want it this is the crazy thing you both want this but yeah it's about someone coming in to fight for what they want it's like someone's manipulating they're trying to get you to compete maybe you know you're not competing i, I feel like you're not going to compete yeah you want something solid something reliable see this is starting off on the right foot building a foundation putting in the effort you see so now they could be an aries leo sag energy or a scorpio with this energy some of you may have there may be competition you know maybe there is some competition here and someone's i feel someone regrets not fighting for what they want going after what they wanted because the king of wands generally doesn't care if there's competition <laughs> i i just feel like there's some obstacles to overcome here there's an energy of someone who's being careful what they believe okay being cautious being guarded playing it safe being careful what they wish for but because of this somebody's not getting what they want in fact i don't think either one of you are getting what you want here because of this power struggle and it has to do with someone who's trying to control their emotions, trying not to be ruled by them. But I'll tell you, their cup runneth over with feelings. I feel like it could be both ways here, you know. But they want you to offer them something, and you're not. I feel like you're not going to because of this energy. You want something solid, something reliable. See, it's starting things off on the right foot, building this foundation, putting in the effort. Yeah. Tell me about this ace. Oops, there we go. Yeah, see? Little Pisces energy. So Cancer, Pisces energy. So I feel what we have is a person who already knows everything they need to know. It's about trusting their intuition. You, you know who this is more than likely. Your intuition is telling you uh, yourself here uh, to not uh, be the one to initiate. Because maybe you already have and you didn't get what you wanted. Why would you initiate again? So it could be vice versa, though. Yeah. Tell me more about this wisdom. This is being wise, inner knowing, you see? <laughs> yeah. See, someone's procrastinating, weighing the pros and the cons. See, it's an energy of trusting your intuition. Someone may be juggling. But I feel like it's like being careful what you believe. I feel both of you are guarded, defensive, and being careful what you believe. It's keeping this stuck. Tell me about this Ace of Cups why that came out yeah see it's two people it takes two neither one of you budging no one moving not giving in to the other person a couple stubborn people with that three of pentacles i feel like what we have is a need to just compromise a little bit just giving in a little bit here to get this moving because i feel it's two people you know, it's about growing closer, getting to know each other, going down this path. Uh, but someone is guarded, okay? Pushing someone away or keeping them at arm's length. But yet we have this connection. So you both, I feel like you both want this. And it has to do with this truth. It has to do with win or lose. If someone wants to have success, win or lose, they need to come in, you know, fighting for what it is they want. They need to take action. So it's about someone taking action. Yeah, see, there's a lack of clarity. I feel, you know, you could be waiting for this. If there's a lack of clarity. You're not hearing what you need to hear. You feel like there's no hope. Okay, so this is where you may be making a decision. You may have another person coming in. There may be competition, you know. But I feel it's an energy of weighing the pros and the cons and making a decision. Just It's about calming down and grounding yourself. Okay, it has to do with putting in the effort, putting in the work. See, someone here, it's like, I feel like you, you've already done it. You want this person to. Someone's already initiated and didn't get what they wanted. So like I say, see, there it is waiting, feeling like it's too little too late. The ship has sailed. See, it has to do with both cards are about initiation. Now we have this fire energy here. It's about taking action, fighting for what you want. Um, you know, and I got to tell you, I don't know if this is someone who's just playing little mind games or, you know, being thinking they're being funny here. I um, mean, you may not be getting it. OK, so <laughs> it has to do with two people being on the same page, seeing eye to eye. I feel like there's just, you know, uh, it's like you're not seeing 
uh, things the way or feeling uh, the way this person thinks you do because you see this waiting this is an energy of someone waiting looking elsewhere weighing the pro pros and cons you see because if, if someone isn't going to put in the effort and offer you an invitation um, uh, communication whatever it is you're not going to sit around and wait forever See, this is the energy of someone waiting for this. They're waiting for you to initiate. They're wanting you to. But you're waiting here for them to put in some effort. See? Yeah, so it, it's like too much work. That's what I feel. Mind games, manipulation. See? This is where you're not comfortable with this. There's something here you're not liking that you hear, or there's just a lack of clarity because they're not putting in effort. If someone doesn't come in and put in some effort, then you're not going to feel comfortable. You're not going to put in the effort. Some of you are more focused on your money here as well. You're kind of, you know, not going to put a lot of effort into someone when you don't have a clarity of what it is they want. Yeah, wow. So you know, I feel like you're focused on your money as usual, trying to stay balanced. Perfecting your craft, perfecting your skills. Uh, I feel you're not going to um, put in the effort with when you don't have clarity. This person someone who they communicate in a way where they're not clear. You don't really know what they want, so you can't trust in it, see? And I feel they their trust issues is what's causing it. Okay, They feel like you're out of their league, or they feel as though the situation's somehow out of reach. Why would the situation be out of reach? Yeah, it has to do with not being emotionally fulfilled. See, we've got... <laughs> mm -hmm. Someone didn't get something they wanted, so they chose to walk away. See, I feel like it's what's happening here, but it's also an energy of lacking emotional fulfillment. Someone's not hearing what they need. So they're, I feel like you're thinking of walking away, but you're grounding yourself. You're looking at this. I feel trying to be you know, uh, serious. I feel like you're trying to be serious. There's a need for a serious discussion. And this person's kind of, I almost feel like, like I say, I felt that little sense of humor kind of goofing around a little bit uh, where something doesn't feel right here. But it has to do with being comfortable. See, king and queen of pentacles, a power couple. So we have that um, Taurus and Virgo. It has to do with communication, Two people communicating, taking the time to get to know each other. Moving forward calmly and peacefully. Maybe you're worried this person's just looking for, uh, maybe this person's just looking for something more exciting. You may not be on the same page, but yet you both want this. You're both manifesting it. You're mirroring each other in some ways, but no one's getting what they want. Now, some of you may be moving away, walking away from some, this person and maybe moving towards another person who puts in the effort. I feel like it has to do with uh, find your, your type, uh, somebody who's um, more your type. I feel some serious energy and then I feel this king of wands um, being a little more a sense of humor, you know, playing little games, having a good time. Um, and it could be just a compatibility issue as well. Finding someone more compatible. You maybe feel they're not compatible. So some of you may have actually could be two King of Cups energies here. But this is the Empress, see? You know your worth and your value. You want this person to reach out in a way where, you know, because it has to do with respect. Uh, putting in a little effort here. You're open to this. Some of you, this could be a work situation in here as well. Uh, to do with work. This could be something to do with a boss. Um, I definitely see a lot of emotion though. Most of you, this is really uh, to do with love, to do with feelings and emotions that aren't being expressed. Stubborn and stuck. But the Empress is open. Shower the abundance, right? Shower me. Give me what it is I want. And, you know, yeah, yeah. it's about meeting in the middle here. Yeah, I, I, I feel as though, you know, this is the birth of something new. If you don't hear what you want to hear and they aren't clear, well, then obviously uh, something is amiss, you know. Um, you may be open to other offers here while you're waiting. You're open. I feel like you're open to this. You know, bring it on kind of energy. Put in some effort. Show me. This person's definitely, you know, the initiate isn't like the page of wands. It's actually a, a step up. It's actually about communicating. It's not the novice. This is someone who really wants this to happen. 
but they want you to initiate. But you're not, so I don't know, guys. What is going on, Capricorn? You know, uh, the Empress knows their worth and value, and this is the thing. You feel like this person doesn't value you or there's a lack of respect. Maybe they're pushing you away, you know. And I, I feel like you're, you are feeling a little guarded here because you're not hearing what you need to hear. There's a lack of clarity about the future. Where is this going? What it is that you want, you see? Because they're not telling you something. There could be competition. Yeah, you're keeping your feelings to yourself. See, you're not going to share your feelings with this person. You're offering one little cup and that's it. See, it's not emotionally fulfilling. It's ama I feel like you're making a decision to walk away too little too late. You see? Because you're open. See, there's that energy, the transformation, where you start to change how you feel because they're not putting in the effort. It's too much work. It's too much work. Some of you are... Uh, you know, focused on other things. You got other things going on. You know, it's an energy of the Queen of Pentacles of feeling comfortable. Um, something here is, you know, doesn't feel comfortable because that's what the Queen of Pentacles wants is someone who's solid, someone who's reliable, dependable, you know, someone who has your best interest at heart and vice versa. You see, you're not comfortable with this waiting. You see, feel like you've patiently waited here. And now you're going through some kind of change. You may have another person coming in. This could still be that same person's energy, but the transformation, a little Scorpio, see, the change. You're not going to change. I feel like you're not going to change. If you have a person who comes towards you in this way, like I say, and they reach out with the, they initiate and then sit back and, and wait for you to be the one to actually offer this cup, who's going to share their feelings? I feel like you got a couple of opportunities. I feel like you're going to change your focus. You're no longer focusing on this person. You're focusing on work. See? Yep. Yeah, on the fence, making a choice, possibly between two, going down a whole other path. This is about taking something to the next level here as well, you see? It's about partnering up. So if you if there is competition here, if there are a few people... It's very possible. I, I feel some of you, um, you're just waiting for this person to ask you out to inter or to take it to the next level, um, to put in the effort to um, introduce you to friends, family, uh, others of you. There's definitely still this energy of um, a pay raise, taking something to the next level. Some of you wanted something. You put in a lot of hard work and you want it to go to the next level. You may not be getting it. You could be just keeping your feelings to yourself about that. I feel like it's separate from this uh, relationship energy. Um, but yeah, it has to do, could be a pay raise, you know, something to do with work. Yeah, we got the king of swords. So what we have is a person who's doing a lot of thinking, strategizing, see? Someone's being kind of manipulative here. They have a strategy uh, for whatever reason, but I feel like you're not playing along. You're, you, you've waited, I feel, long enough, too little, too late. Now, now you can't trust this energy here. Someone's manipulating here. See, it's about building, building a foundation. It has to do with commitment, uh, starting things off right. See, someone didn't start things off right. They um, didn't offer something reliable. See, it's about being reliable and unreliable. You know, I feel there's trust issues. Being careful what you believe here. Because when someone doesn't communicate in a clear way, um, and then they keep you waiting and waiting, whether they're at a distance or not, you know, uh, travel could be an issue, you know, long distance. But I, I'm going to tell you, what I feel is if somebody doesn't want to communicate just because they live far away and you don't hear from them, um, you know, and they have this, they, they seem detached, seem like they're not interested, but yet, when you do communicate with them, they act like they are. And then you don't hear from this person for a while. There's definitely going to be some trust issues. But I still feel neither. You're both acting a little aloof here. They're definitely thinking. They're, they're thinking and analyzing. I feel like you have a person who overanalyzes to the point where they start to think negative. 
They need to let go. It's no longer serving. That's what it's telling me. So it's an energy of yourself here possibly walking away. Or this person did and they regret it, you see. But I don't think you're, you're keeping your feelings to yourself here, you know. Um, yeah, you want reciprocity, see, keeping your feelings to yourself. So some of you are definitely thinking of, um, you know, persons at a distance pushing you away, keeping you at arm's length. So there could be competition where you're offering your cup to someone else with the Empress being open, not going to sit and write, open to other offers, put in the effort or see you later. Uh, is what I feel. Yeah, you want emotional fulfillment. This person sees this, see? This is an energy where you've put in the effort. You've possibly already showed how you feel. Because uh, the Queen of Cups is someone who nurtures and cares, trying to show somebody how you feel. Uh, but I feel like you're not going to do it anymore with this person because it's it's like it's their turn to take a leap. You've taken a risk already, I feel. You're not taking a risk with this person. They, It's their turn to take that leap of faith. That's what I feel like it's saying. And I feel you will be open to other options. In fact, it looks like there is competition for some of you. They're looking at it now. And now they have this energy of regret. You see? There they are, offering one little cup, nothing more. Make somebody who possibly makes up excuses why they won't take things further. So this is where you take the lessons learned from past relationships as well, other connections, and you move on. You're making a choice. It looks like a choice between several people here. Um, but yeah, you got someone who's making excuses. See, lack of reciprocity. That's that page of pentacles. Somebody who acts like they're not interested, but they are. They reach out. They don't really tell you everything you need to know. To feel stable. To feel like they're reliable. To feel like you want to put any more effort into this. I feel like you're just kind of focusing on you. Changing your focus. You're no longer giving to this person. You're not reaching out anymore. You've already initiated. I feel like you're the one who's initiated something. Okay, or they started something but weren't clear, so you're just kind of waiting for clarity. I feel clear communication. See, it's about investing, waiting patiently. It's to do with the timing, you know, you're not going to wait forever. Yeah, it's whether something will pay off. They are thinking about it. Will this pay off? Should they reach out? Should they offer you something? Could be an invitation, like to their home, anything where you, you know. You know, that it's the level. It, it's taking things to a level here. So let's have a look at this Two of Cups. Boy, this is confusing. Yeah, there's the transformation between two people. See, it has to do with the levels and taking things to the next level. Friends and family, uh, inviting you to their home, um, you know, sharing more information of themselves. Somebody is, is, it's like they're hiding behind a mask. They're not showing their true self for whatever reason. We have the letter T, and we have the lever, le, letter W, but you have the King of Cups. Some of you got two. I can see two options, two people in that King of Cups energy. You want reciprocity. You want someone who reciprocates, so you're no longer investing in someone who's tossing those breadcrumbs. They're not being clear. So you're. it's, it's almost like a, they reach out and they want you to um, just kind of go with it and take a risk, you see? Yeah, we have the letter R. There's the star. See, this is where you leave things behind that no longer serve, taking the lessons you've learned from the past and, and using the things that you know, the tools, the information, everything that you need to know, your knowledge and wisdom, that you should not, you know, be the one to uh, be reaching out to this person and looking desperate, you know, that's what I feel. You, you know, you don't want to look that, you don't want, you know, because I feel like you're not, I, you know. Yeah, tell me about this competition and conflict. Obstacles and challenge, like I say, it could be a long-distance situation. Yeah, there's the star. So this is definitely somebody different than your usual type. You know, there's the music. See, it could be an event. This person could be really popular. We have the King of Wands, very charming, attractive, someone who gets a lot of attention. People are always competing for their attention, you see. Um, so that there could be something there where you're not going to, I feel like you're not going to compete. Like you're not the one who's going to, I don't know if this person put you in a situation where you felt that way. But yeah, it's about knowing your worth and value. But I see music, an event, and I feel there's some kind of note uh, there could have been some kind of a note here. 
the other people involved. Could be gossip too. I don't know if this person doesn't want to involve other people. They just want to keep other people out of it. But I feel like you're tired of waiting here. At least for this person to offer you the cup to tell you how they feel, you know. Because this is about long term. It's about marriage, commitment, happy home, happy life, building a solid financial foundation. You're focused on your, you know, your house and home. You've changed your focus. You're not trying not to focus on this person, but there's still a lot of feelings here. So we have the eight. There we go. The letter G, the letter F. We built the Queen of Cups energy. Yeah, see, it's about being strong. See, it's about manifesting. This person is trying to manifest something here, but they're not, they want you to be the one to take the risk. And I feel like you've already taken a risk or you've taken risks in the past and never got what you wanted. So, and, and it could be both of you where you have that energy, you've had that happen before where you've reached out and poured your heart out only to be, have somebody push you away or block you. You know, that's, that's some harsh energy, so it's possible you've both experienced it, and that's why you've got this stalemate. There's the heart, see? Finding, being strong and confident, manifesting love. You're trying to manifest love. But someone here is definitely not being serious, like they're playing games, maybe they think it's funny, and I feel like you're more serious. And maybe for those of you who have to, like I say, someone more compatible, a little more serious about love, about their feelings, who takes things seriously when it comes to communication. Because that's what I feel the issue is, is that communication. The magician is uh, the tools, the information, the gathering of, especially with the Six of Swords. It's about learning about each other, getting to know each other. You can't get to know somebody if they don't share. All right. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, so it's neither one of you, both waiting patiently for the other person to invest. We've got two people, you know, there's a connection here. This person, I, I don't know what their problem is other than I feel like you both, uh, communication and you both had something happen in the past where you reached out and took a risk and then the other person pushed you away or blocked you or ignored you, whatever the, you know. Um, but there's a need to release all these things that no longer serve, right? Taking the things that you know that work and move forward, taking that risk. There's always a risk in love, always a risk. And we have the I, the M. Yeah, there's that risk. See, look at that. See, it's about commitment, offering up that, that you know, being reliable, starting off on the right foot. Some of you have a, a, another energy here, uh, possibly even another connection, some of you. But I still feel most of you, this is the same person just going through these energies, these motions. We have the Empress, someone mastering life. You know, you've learned. You've taken the things you've learned in the past and you're applying it because you know you've taken that leap of faith before. It's their turn to take a risk, whoever this is. I feel like someone's not taking you seriously here too. It's like uh, maybe joking, kidding around. I don't know. Uh, there's some other underlying issue with this uh, initiate of wands. There's the letter L. Let's have a look at the... Four of Wands, yeah, the letter D, there's the star, see, two people, a little different than each other. When I see those two, they've now become a marker for uh, two people who are a little different from each other, the way they kind of look at their feelings, emotions, um, how things develop and levels in a relationship. But I see the star, see, I see this energy of someone here needing to reach out and it has to do with releasing things both of you need to let go of things that no longer serve and it's probably trust issues that's holding this stuck and stagnant because there is a connection the connections they made you've drank from each other's cup it's like nobody's budging but yet you're not letting go of each other acting aloof pay um you know the prince and princess of pentacles both acting a little aloof acting like you're not interested but you are so there's mirroring here Four of Wands, a little more on the Four of Wands, please. There we have the star again, see? Two people, the star, releasing, starting things off right, letting go of things that no longer serve, respecting each other, valuing each other, building each other up. And then we have the letter A, one more, and the heart, see? Making peace, making peace with the past, 
Some of you need to make peace with the past and let it go. It no longer serves in this um, energy. I, I feel this is something that could work out. It's just a matter, I feel, of this person looking at the energy of taking a risk. Is this something worth fighting for? And that's what they're looking at, you know. And uh, I really feel like they, they want to um, take action to fight for what it is they want, to go for it. Because the King of Wands is someone who goes for it. They take action. Now, it's possible, like I say, they're used to people taking action, fighting for them. You know, they're probably very popular, have a lot of people around them. That you're not going to compete. The Empress does not compete. And they're looking at this with that sense of loss. They have regret for not... Uh, fighting for what they want here so there you go capricorn crazy energy a little all over the place uh, especially if some of you have a few other people around you and there's competition um, you, that you may have a person who has too many people competing for their attention and you don't trust the situation especially if you have spent time with them and you've seen uh, the energy around them when you if you've been out with them uh, and they are at a distance. Maybe you went to see this person and something made you feel uncomfortable. So it's possible this person may not be your type. Some of you may uh, literally walk away. Uh, I do see a King of Pentacles here, which is more your type here. So this is where I feel. See, someone here may not be your type. But we have two people who are different than each other in some ways, yet very much the same. And that's the Three of Pentacles, you see. It's about going down this path building each other up here not tearing each other down by pushing each other away or um, this distant energy okay take care wish you the very best and we'll see you soon